Good morning, folks. Top Story Today breaks open a number of amazing topics, including our magnetic sun and the electric factor of earthquakes. We'll look at weather as well, but let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're checking out the last 24 hours on our star and finding another very calm day. No ejections or pops and no solar flares once again. No danger of them today either. The solar wind attempted to fluctuate, but the stream intensity just wasn't there, and all is currently calm in Earth's magnetosphere as well. The next coronal holes are at center longitude, could produce intensified streams at Earth around New Year's Eve. Meanwhile, we've once again seen a number of coronal holes fail to produce significant geomagnetic events, and the same seismic drought at magnitude 6 range has popped up once again with them. We expect three per week, but it's been 13 days without one. Meanwhile, the winter weather isn't just at the record-shattered Erie, Pennsylvania. From Europe across to Asia, we are seeing more blizzard conditions or deadly cold waves. The India event took everyone local by complete surprise. And speaking of surprises, footage of the Christmas mudslides in the Philippines has made its way to the net. Brutal event with dozens missing after heavy rains washed out a slope directly onto a village. Lastly, on the earth front, we saw Sinabung go off once again. A lucky hiker saw it begin from the top and managed to get out before the main portion of the eruption occurred. Ash falling on nearby towns, but luckily, there are no reported casualties. Top story today is about the sun, unless you are an observer, in which case it's also about the earth. They say that between oppositely polarized sunspot umbra, delta-class sunspots, can be found the most powerful fields ever discovered on our star which also means the strongest electric forces as well. Not only does this indicate why we look for that opposite polarity magnetic mixing in sunspots in order to forecast solar flares, but here on Earth, the convergence line between Earth spots, high and low pressure, is where we find all the energetic storms and tornadoes and hail events, while the larger grand scale hurricane storms are at the lows themselves, just like at the sunspot itself, which sees its most energetic interactions between sunspots as well. This is conforming to the December 5th article about a shallow thin circuit current to our star that is precisely what we told you was happening on Earth with lithospheric interactions in the global electric circuit to cause earthquakes. Well, the last line of the abstract today says that the mechanism on the sun is like the subduction of Earth's crust. Folks, it's the exact same process, and that is why our electric earthquake model is working. If you haven't been over to QuakeWatch.net to learn about these forecasting efforts, it is worth the time. Coming up, we've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.35 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.